But since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Uh, another beer review tonight. Um, I'm getting ready to, to take off this weekend. Uh, we're heading up to Northern California to check out uh, California Extreme. Um, if you've never been to California Extreme, uh, it might be a little late now, depending on where you live, but you should go. You definitely check it out. Uh, it's the biggest arcade and pinball show there is um, in the state, and they do it every year in July um, up in <clears throat> Santa Clara. So if you're around this weekend and you're within driving distance, you should definitely come out um, to the Hyatt and check out uh, California Extreme. So that's where we're going to be. Um, we're going to be hanging out every year that I've been there. We always have a pretty fun NBA Jam tournament, so I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ready, so to speak. I'm going to play a couple games of NBA Jam, and um, I was going to have a beer while I play. So I want to do a uh, review real quick on uh, one of my favorite beers. I make no bones about that. Uh, this is Fresh Squeeze IPA by Deschutes. Um, it, uh, it just became available recently here in uh, North County, San Diego. Uh, this is their IPA. I think it's a year-round beer. I'm not 100% sure. Um, tons of mosaic hops. It's really, really citrusy, really, really good. It's one of my favorite beers. Um, I have it in the fridge almost all the time. Um, it does. It sells out pretty quick uh, when it comes to the places that gets it um, down here. So I try and buy a couple, uh, a couple six-packs at a time and have them in the fridge. If, if you're not into craft beer and you kind of want to make that jump into trying new stuff, this is a fantastic beer to start with. Um, really, really uh, fruity. Um, it's got some bitterness to it, um, but it's really, really refreshing. It's been hot um, here the last couple days. Uh, high 80s, 100% humidity, which is kind of crazy for where we're at. But um, this is a perfect beer for uh, for a day like today. So um, let's see here from the bottle. Uh, it says, this mouthwateringly dis delicious IPA gets its flavor from a heavy helping of citra and mosaic hops. Don't worry, no fruit was harmed in the making of this beer. Um, it is a 6.4% alcohol by volume beer. Um, so it's, I mean, it's up there as far as uh, ABV goes. Uh, nothing that's going to, you know, hurt you if you just have a couple of these things. Um, and this does have a date on it, which is good for IPAs. It says, uh, best by July 31st. So I would say this was bottled probably, I don't know four or five weeks ago, so um, they usually give you, I mean, they, people say within 90 days to drink an IPA, uh, something like this, 6.4%, the beer's not going to go bad, but as they say, as IPA said, the hop profile kind of fades. So um, let's get this in a glass and check it out and show it to you guys real quick. Ooh, nice hit. It pours a... Uh, a hazy, dark, like an amber color. Um, head is like a creamy, off-white, maybe half a finger. Um, carbonation's awesome, tons of bubbles. Uh, it is a hazy beer, though. I don't know if, I mean, I don't know if this is considered um, bottle condition. It doesn't look, I mean, maybe it is, eh. Well, no, even when you hold up to the light, it's still, uh, it's hazy. So I don't know how, you know, how filtered this is or whatever, but it definitely is not clear. Um, but even at 6.4%, I mean, the head kind of dissipates quick. Uh, it didn't really hang out too much. But this stuff, when you smell it, it smells like a big, <laughs> it smells like a big glass of fruit juice. Um, tons of citrus, grapefruit, orange, tangerine. Really, really refreshing. It's like a glass of like grapefruit juice. You get a little bit of that bitterness, like grapefruit, kind of a pith um, aroma. But really, really fruity. Um, and just a good, good smelling beer. So let's dig in. Cheers. Wow. It's just, ah, that's so good. You get a little bit of bitterness up front. You get a, a pretty big uh, hit of hops, and it's just tons and tons and tons of citrus, grapefruit, and orange, a little bit of pineapple, maybe some like uh, some ripe peach. I'm telling you, hot days. If you're if you live somewhere that's warm, go grab a six pack of this. You will not uh, you will not be disappointed. This beer is absolutely delicious. Ah, oh, so good, so refreshing. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna play some NBA Jam. I'm sure a lot of you guys have played this game before, right? Everyone loves this game. 
this was uh, NBA Jam was one of the games that kind of got me hooked back into uh, into arcade games. Um, that game came the original NBA Jam. That's actually tournament edition. That's in that machine right now. Um, the original one though came out in '92, so I had just turned. I mean, I was between 10 and 11, um, and I just remember I spent all of my allowance money on that game. I mean, you could put your initials in; it would save your record. Try to beat all 28, uh, 28 teams. It's just a, an amazing, amazing game. One of my favorite games ever, um, and I, I, I just love playing it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm taking off this weekend. I'm gonna go check out California Extreme. I'm gonna try and shoot a bunch of video. Um, I'm not the best movie editor, so I'll just throw a bunch of stuff together and, and upload something when we get home. Um, if you haven't checked out our podcast, please do that. Uh, it's called Arcade Outsiders. You can find it at arcadeoutsiders.com. Uh, we actually do a live podcast every Tuesday at 11 p.m. Eastern on allgames.com. Um, and if you can't listen live, you can download it on iTunes, Stitcher, wherever you can find uh, podcasts. So I'm going to finish this beer. I'm going to have a couple more. I'm going to play some NBA Jam. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, Till next time. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA Jam with the shoes.